Hey guys, I'm Cody, and I'm Mine Past Life Pro, and in accordance, more so with Minecraft Shaders Packs, I thought I'd devote a tutorial to teaching you about normal maps and specular maps. Not to mention, I'll also be touching on how these maps can be implemented into your Minecraft, excluding how they are made for now. So, let's begin. To get the ball rolling, I'd like to answer two questions. What are normal maps and specular maps, and what do they do? Well, to summarize quite heavily, a normal map is an image applied to a 3D object, in our case, a gold block, in order to build a higher level of detail for the end result. End result meaning actual depth. A specular map is an image used to define an object's shininess. In the place of our iron block, it allows us to have light actually interact with certain parts of the block. As for an image of the different types, a normal map generally gives off a shade of color dictated by the RGB setup. So, you normally find them looking a slight bit purple, perhaps more blue or violet, and make no mistake, these colors all serve a different height map. Though for now, I wouldn't know enough to give you a correct explanation as to what color dictates what height. As for the second one, an image of a specular map would look more black and white to an extent. This is the case because specular maps use black and white values to indicate areas that have varying levels of intensity. For example, fully black areas will reflect 0% light, whereas fully white areas will reflect 100% light. For different lighting values in between, it's pretty much a matter of more or less specular reflection. As for another thing to take note of, this iron block specular map didn't have a green color, like roughly 90% of the other specular maps in Microma Hills resource pack. I don't know why this is the case, but if I do gain a foothold on this inconsistency, I will annotate what it means, above. Alright, now that you have a pretty good understanding as to what these maps are, I think it's time we moved on to this inevitable scenario. Let's just say you stumbled upon some normal maps and specular maps and you're wondering how to implement them into your Minecraft. Well, let's find out. To get them working, we must combine them with our resource pack block textures. So do as I do. Access the resource pack folder, double click assets, then textures, and then blocks. From here, it's just a matter of dragging in the mapping files. When it comes to adding in specular maps or normal maps that weren't previously named for your convenience, like the ones I just implemented, know this. To make a certain texture use a map, this is what you gotta do. For a normal map, simply copy the name of the original block, then type underscore n. For a specular map, copy the name of the block, then type underscore s. The text will differentiate the two, allowing them to work beside each other. So, before I leave you with this newfound knowledge, I have just a bit more to give. Number one, if Minecraft doesn't show you any 3D blocks, then it's a pretty good bet that you haven't enabled Palm. To do this, I recommend you watch through this tutorial. Number two, if specular maps aren't working, then it's also a pretty good bet that you have the specular maps box unchecked. I don't know why you'd have it unchecked, but if it isn't checked, do check it. And same for the normal maps box. This could also be another reason as to why the 3D effect wouldn't be working, so best leave it on. Now, on my end, this tutorial has probably taken me around 7 hours of prep time, at least to build the script itself and the background knowledge, so I'm pretty sure I got to all the points I wanted to get to. But if you think I missed something or you need something clarified or answered, then please write a comment down below and I'll get back to you. If this very informative tutorial on normal maps and specular maps was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. 
All right. See you guys.